Next up for the uh, compute and math instructions are the multiply and divide. They're logically next because multiply is multiple addition, division is multiple subtraction, except that we have longhand methods of calculating the results with a without actually thinking about the process. So we're going to do the multiply instruction and the divide instruction. We wanted to remind you of, of a characteristic of a programmer logic controller that's not true when you do math on paper. We know that if you divide any value by zero that the result is infinity. However, we cannot represent a value any larger than 32,767. So in a PLC, what happens when you divide any non-zero value by zero? It equals infinity and faults the processor. Okay, so we had to clear the fault, reset the controller back to the remote run mode, and said, ask you, how would you modify the logic to prevent dividing by zero? Hopefully you gave it some thought before you actually looked at the solution. Again, we integrated a comparison instruction to prevent dividing a non-zero value by zero. So N711, if it's not greater than zero, then um, we're not going to divide. Then we had to add the following rung, rung two, and we're going to divide by negative numbers. Uh, when you di when you divided by negative numbers, did it work? Yes, it did. Does eight divided by three equal three? Yes, if you round it off. Uh, since we're not working with floating point here, then we're working with signed integers. They're going to round off. The results of division would normally include decimal fractions, but we're not using floating point here. What do the results in the destination registers indicate when there is a remainder? in the division process. The answer is rounded off. Then we ask you if you wanted to allow dividing by negative numbers but not by zero, how would you modify the logic? This next little chunk of logic was just something that we threw in we thought was interesting. We call it synthetic floating point we had you add another rung of logic and make some edits to it. And basically what we were doing is multiplying N70 by 100, which we have stored in N710, and put in the result in N71. Then when we do our division, we divide our um, N711 into N71 instead of N70. Now an example here on the screen and in your manual, uh, in N76, and that depends on whether input 0 is on or off. When it's off, then rung 0 executes. When it's on, then rung 1 executed. So rung one, 1 is true as shown here. And we ended up with a value of minus 263. However, this really would be treated as negative 2.63 because then you would have to take the result and divide by 100. <coughs> but because we don't have floating point, you leave it as 263, negative 263, 263. But keep in mind that it's really 2.63. Now, if you fl flip the switch back off, then rung 0 rounds it off the result to minus 3. And with input 0 in the on position, you get a result of negative 263, which would be more accurate. Keep in mind that you have to continually convert values back and forth by multiplying, dividing by 100. Now, this scheme is very vulnerable to math overflows as well because you cut your total range down by 100. But it is better than nothing, and sometimes you want to display what appears to be a floating point on the screen of an MMI. You can simply do this by using two numeric displays adjacent to each other and you subtract the first two positions out 
you put 2 in the first numeric display and 63 in the second with a uh, static decimal point in between the two and it looks like it's 2.63. So this is a very difficult scheme to uh, to to massage until it really works good for you, but it is better than nothing. Now, the 10-point Micrologix 1000 does not provide any analog I.O. as an option. But with processors that do provide analog I.O., you are still limited, that is with 16-bit backplanes, you're still limited to signed integer minus 32,768 to a positive 32,767. These are limits across the back plane for each analog channel. And this is going to limit the accuracy of anything you try to do with logic within the range of 16-bit sign integer. However, floating point data types um, will be available in these other processors and they're more expedient for display purposes with the oper operator interface terminals. Once you have scaled this minus 32,768 to plus 32,767 to represent plus or minus 10 volts, 0 to 100 pounds, etc. Uh, you will then be able to display a scaled value on your screen and work with scaled values in your math if you so choose. But keep in mind, you are still limited to the total number of increments between minus 32,768 to 32,767. That does limit your accuracy. That's assuming that you have analog cards that provide that level of accuracy. Uh, there's all kinds of A to D converters, 8-bit, 9-bit, 10-bit, 11-bit, 12-bit. 12-bit's considered pretty good. In this next step in the lab, we've actually taken it to the level we just described in the previous screen where we are creating individual registers that can then be uh, tagged to two numeric display objects. Address one to N712, the other to N713. <coughs> Place them right next to each other on the screen with a static decimal point in between and you have 2.78 on your screen. So 25 divided by 9 round it off, you get a result of three. But if you do a little uh, shuffling with <coughs> multiplication division, you can display a 2.78 on your screen. By duplicating the last rung for each multiple of 100, as in the following example, uh, you can continue this process as high as you want to go. In order to use this type of logic, you would have to create a rung for each range of 100 counts. And this rung, we're covering uh, the test values for N74 from 1700 to 1799. So if our value is between 1700 and 1799, then this rung will execute. All the other rungs will not execute because their limit test is for another range of 100 counts. So here we end up with two values, 17 and 44, and then we could display that as 17.44. In order for this to work, you would have to have a rung of logic for every range of 100 counts all the way from 0 to 32,767.